Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the shop. If you're new here, this is our 2013 Mitsubishi Fuso FG that I'm very slowly turning into an overland camper. Now a long time ago in this build, this truck was running and one day it just decided to stop. After a lot of diagnostics and troubleshooting, I was able to finally determine that my injectors were not spraying any fuel. Or at least I could confirm that three of the four injectors were not spraying any fuel because number four is still in the engine. <laughs> I've tried almost everything I can think of to try and get this injector out. Injecto Sakaora! Are you sure that's a real spell? Of course it is. Well, it's not very good, is it? Well, it was worth a try. I've also been working on the other three injectors that I did manage to get out. The first injector I took apart was from my spare engine because if I was going to destroy one taking it apart, I didn't want it to be one of the ones out of my engine. Once you get this injector torn down far enough, you end up with the tip and inside the tip there are four parts. There's two spacers, a spring, and a part that I'm going to call the needle or maybe it's a plunger. And that assembly should move up and down inside there. As you can see in this one, it's completely stuck in place. So my first inclination was go online and just buy new tips. I don't know if it's because we live in a throwaway society and people don't take things apart and fix them, but these are impossible to find. And before everybody calls me out in the comments, yes, you can go online and find new injector tips for Bosch piezo injectors. But this is a Mitsubishi Fuso FG and for some reason, it uses an unobtainium. This part number just doesn't seem to exist. Now while that was a little bit frustrating, it takes me back to the earlier comment I made of being a throwaway society. Are these really in need of being thrown out? Or can we take them apart and clean them? On closer inspection of injector tip number three, I found I was actually able to move the needle part in and out very slightly. So with some slightly unconventional methods, I was actually able to get it to come apart. Now the inside was pretty sticky, but there didn't appear to be any metal debris, which is a good thing. So the next logical step for me was to put them in the ultrasonic cleaning tank to see if we could free them up. The ultrasonic cleaner is running a mix of distilled water and simple green, and that so far has been doing a really good job at cleaning anything that goes in there. Of course, I didn't want them just loosely rattling around in here, so I made a little injector nozzle holder stamped with the injector number that matches the numbers on the injectors, which have also had a couple of rounds through the ultrasonic cleaner. The ultrasonic cleaner did a great job on everything else, but unfortunately it did not free up the stuck bits inside the tip. So what kind of magical product are we looking at using here? Well, normally I'm not someone who believes the hype behind products, but if you saw the recent video I did with the Archoil AR9100 in my Ford F350, I'm a bit more of a believer now. So what are we going to do? Let's try another one of their products. This is Archoil's 6400D. What does it do? Well, among other things, claims to rapidly clean injector tips. Sounds exactly like what I'm trying to do. Archoil 6400D is a fuel additive. It is designed to be put into your fuel system, mixed with your fuel, and run through the entire system. Clearly, I can't do that with my engine not running, and I'm going to try using this full strength directly into the injector tips. As this is a highly scientific test of magic, I've only done it to one. I'm going to let that soak for a while, and then we'll come back and see what it's doing. Now, since some of my unconventional methods do seem to work, I'm going to continue using them. And maybe one day, this injector will actually come out. Well, it's been about an hour, so I thought I'd come down and check and see if anything has soaked into the injector tip. And it looks like it hasn't, which is pretty understandable because this 12 ounce bottle is designed to be combined with 40 gallons of diesel. And in reality, this isn't designed as a penetrating fluid. It's designed to clean the system as it passes through. But I'm gonna try a slightly different approach again. Sometimes difficult problems require thinking outside the box. And in this case, inside a bag. So let's pour some 6400D into the bag with the tip and heat the ultrasonic cleaner to about 50 degrees Celsius and see what hot arch oil and ultrasonic vibrations can do.
I hope that the injector's hard corners don't actually wear through the thin Ziploc bag, but I guess there's only one way to find out, right? That's not entirely accurate. So this has been in the arch oil, in the ultrasonic cleaner for about 30 minutes now. I'm gonna pop it out and see if any of the pieces will come out. Yeah, that looks a little dirtier than when it went in. Something I didn't consider was the effect it could have on the plastic. That was stuck together pretty hard. All right, so injector, tip out. Ooh, that moves now. That totally moves now. That was 100% stuck before, I don't know if you can see. That ring, I'll get it there on an angle. I can move that in and out. So that before was completely impossible. Now, I can't, I can't actually, oh, maybe I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it with this very gently. Oh, it just comes right out, okay. That has definitely improved stuff over what was there before because this stuff would not move. So now you can see the, the needle in there. I, I can't tell if that's moving in and out or not, but you can also see the top of the spring that's in there. And then under the spring, there's another spacer like that. So I'm gonna give it a couple. Oh, oh man, that just fell right out. There's the spring. So there's one more spacer in there. Okay, so the, the needle, it's not falling out, but I, I couldn't get either of those pieces out before. Let me see if I can, I don't think, and I gotta be really careful because I don't wanna scratch anything in here. Let's see if I can push that in and I'll know. I'm not, I'm not gonna use these anymore because I don't wanna do any damage, but that's definitely a step above where we were before. That gives me a lot of hope that this is going to succeed. I'm going to play around with this a little more and see if I can get the rest of that to come out. After messing around for a little bit, seeing if I could move the, the needle part in and out, I, I still couldn't quite tell if it was moving in and out, but I thought if it was able to free up the spring and that spacer, well, let's put what's left back into the ultrasonic tank, give it another 10 minutes and see if that helps work it farther in and free up the next couple pieces. Let's see what we get this time. Mm, nothing's come out of the bag, that's a good sign. But let's see if we can get any motion out of that. A little bit hard to tell. Give it a couple taps. Oh, there's the next ring. One step closer. So now three of the four parts have come out. The only piece left is the needle slash plunger piece that I don't really know what it's called. With the success of getting these three parts out, I've taken the tip and put it back in, let it run for another 25 minutes or so, and give it another try. This tip has now spent over an hour in the hot Arch Oil AR6400D in the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm gonna give it a few smacks on the table, and if that doesn't get it to come out, well, I was gonna head out to the shop, but it's moving. As we can clearly see now, that is flush with the edge, which means I can't smack it on the table to get it to come out any further. And I bet ya, if I push in on this, it's gonna sink back in. There we go. That is now moving. And very, very carefully, I will try again. Oh, there we go. Which means you can free up stuck injectors that are stuck beyond stuck with Arch Oil 6400D. That on its own, I will consider a huge success. But just because it's a part, it doesn't mean that it's clean. So now I'm gonna take each of these parts, throw them back in the bag again, put them in the ultrasonic cleaner, and see if we can get the rest of the junk that's in there to dissolve.
From what I've done so far today, I know that AR6400D can dissolve whatever was gumming up my injectors. Here's what it boils down to. AR6400 is an intense cleansing to get your fuel system back towards healthy, and it works by using powerful detergents that at a molecular level chemically break down and dissolve carbon, varnish, and gunk that builds up inside the fuel system. These detergents then latch onto the deposits so they can easily be burned off during combustion. With cleaner injectors, you get better spray patterns, which then gives improved combustion, restoring performance, of course, giving smoother idling and better fuel economy. The approach that I took with it was a little bit extreme and kind of an experiment, but I think you can see how powerful this product actually is. AR6500, on the other hand, is more of a maintenance treatment. It still cleans the injectors with the same processes, but at a lower dose for a longer time because we put it in every single tank. The 6500 also adds combustion improvers and lubricity agents to keep the fuel system running smoothly, which are vital to saving your CP4 fuel pump and thus your entire fuel system. It also boosts cetane, which improves cold starts and combustion and helps prevent new deposits from forming, which would have eliminated what I'm dealing with now, which I never want to go through again. And I suspect you probably don't want to go through this either. So here's my recommendation. Go down in the video description, hit the links, throw in the discount code that you see on the screen and order yourself some 6400D or 6500 for every tank. Now I realize I'm not quite at a running engine yet, but man does it ever feel like a win today and we're going in the right direction. There is no way these injectors were going to spray any fuel before and it looks like with a simple cleaning with some arch oil, I'm going to be able to get back to where they need to be. But with that, I need to give a massive shout out to arch oil. You guys make magic in a bottle of several different types and it works. I also want to give a shout out to all the viewers who've been following along this entire journey because all the comments that you guys have been making have helped steer me to where I am now. I hope for those of you who are not running arch oil in your diesel tanks, you see why it can be as important as it is. These injectors, had they had a fuel additive running through them to clean up the goop and varnish, would not have done this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.